dude. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. It is Weston Smith and today we are fishing the buzz bait. That's right, we're throwing top water for big bass, but before we get into it, y'all gotta check out the sale at guggensquad.com. It is the best prices I've seen. I'm just gonna mention it real quick. 50% off apparel. 40% off most baits on the site and 30% off rods and tackle storage. This is if you use code Weston. The link is in the description if you wanna grab some new gear. They're also selling a $10,000 bundle with more baits and swag than you can comprehend as well as a trip to meet and fish with the Guggens on a future Guggen week. There was only two available. Absolutely crazy, I've never seen anyone do anything like that before. Check it out at guggensquad.com and we're gonna jump into the festivities today. We get on some good ones, y'all enjoy. Got him. That did not take long at all. That's a little bass on the buzz bait. G Willikers. All right, black Guggen buzz bait, three eighths ounce with the gold blade is uh, what we're rocking. This could be good, y'all. That took three minutes, if that. First fish. Little guy. Hey, first fish of the morning. Buzz bait, that top water bite. Let's get him. Oh, oh, had a bite. Oh, bite. Four or five bites so far. That's the thing with the buzz bait, you'll miss a lot of fish. They'll short strike it. A lot of folks add a trailer hook, which is just a second hook that literally has like a little bit of plastic, so it kind of locks on the back of this one. And so you'd have two hooks. That way when they go to eat this and they miss it because you're moving it so fast, they actually get hooked by the second one. I just don't have any trailer hooks on me. Uh, oftentimes you'll see people throwing little swim baits in different trailers as well. I'm just rocking it plain Jane today, but uh, there's definitely opportunity for trailers. If that floats your boat, I just want to catch some fish and I know a plain buzz bait will do the trick. Oh, got him. There we go. Buzz bait can be fun, y'all. It's a little tricky to work. I'll get some pointers here in just a minute. I want to see if we can find a good one, though. Whoa. A little upgrade. Hitting new water. Just cast, walk, cast, walk, cast, walk. Paying off. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's right by the grass, too. That's a big one. That's a big one. Yep, that's a good one. Oh, come on up. That's what we're on the hunt for right there. I don't even have to tell y'all what time it is. It's time to hit the eye doctor. Look at that eye, y'all. I have a scale in my backpack. It's not gigantic. I would say that's three and a half. It's still plump. These might be pre-spawners out here. It's tough to say. Absolutely insane. Can barely see. No wonder you're cruising the bank following it up and you got your left eye eyeball on this thing. That's insane. All right, we're going to let him go. Solid fish. Oh my goodness. That's the smallest little fish I've seen in a long time. What were you going to do going after this? I don't even know how to hold you. Like this? Like this? Yeah. Aggressive. Look at those spines. Aggressive. Oh! Dude, how big was that? No, not good. That could have been five. On the hunt for more. Oh, 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 oh. Is that the one? Oh my gosh. That might be the one. That might be the one, y'all. Oh, fudge. <laughs> That's plump, baby. That might be five. Okay. <laughs> we might have just found that same bass, y'all. Oh my. Can you say you were hooked good? Thank goodness. All right, we're scaling it. That's okay. 410, so it's under four and a quarter. This is on hundreds. Some people have it on ounces, but a solid four pounder as my, what is that? Third, fourth fish. And we are just getting started today. Insane. Man, where's the big ones? Weston must be on them. You gotta enjoy it while you can. Oh my gosh, that's a bigger one. That's a bigger one. You gotta get, oh my gosh, it is bigger. It's not a joke. It's not a joke. What was I saying? I was saying this buzz bait works. That was a, a thrill ride. Look at that side, like such light coloration too. It, very interesting. I'm not gonna weigh it. I think this one's heavier than the last one. I'm gonna call it four and a half. It could go five. I should weigh it. Uh, it's not five. It's gonna go four and a half. It's bigger than that last one because of the belly. Uh, and so that's that. We're not liars out here. We speak the truth. Hashtag Lunkers TV. This is the three-eighths ounce. If they sell it a little heavier, I do like the heavy weight too because it keeps the bait down 
under the water, which is not a problem with this buzz bait like uh, plenty I've used in the past. Obviously you're seeing that this is staying subsurface and that's what you want. The blade is spinning on the surface, but you want this bait to stay down here under the water and look like a little scurrying fish, right? It's gonna get eaten by a big old bass. But sometimes, and I've used plenty of buzz baits that do this, they like float sideways on the water because you gotta work it fast. And so it just ends up not working properly <laughs> so you almost have to add a trailer with the guggen squad one you do not have to add a trailer it's just optional if you want to bulk up your presentation for any number of reasons most people would say it's going to help you catch a bigger fish if you bulk up your bait but at the same time i just caught that really good pond bass on this guy right here top waters are just known for catching big fish two hours later the bite has slowed down that's another thing with top water you can't expect it to last. You gotta get it well to getting as good. So we may hop to another spot. Y'all, we are resuming. It is a bit later in the day and I'm just breaking out the big swim bait and the buzz bait. It's just myself now. We're gonna see if we can find us a giant at a spot I have not fished in a long time. It looks very stained, which is why I really just want to uh, whoop this buzz bait around. I've also got the citizen here. I can drag bottom if I choose. We're gonna start things off with the buzz oh my we just had a fish on uh third or fourth cast that was what i like to call a baby bass seeming as it's so stained here i actually kind of like that with the buzz bait because this thing is just so reliant on vibration and noise right i don't like that the sun is peeking out but that's okay hopefully it'll go back away and so anyways this might be one of the few baits that in these conditions is really gonna get those fish to hone in and uh, and come up and see this thing you know you could toss a spinner bait out today for sure toss around a black and blue jig at all the cover that looks good uh those would probably be my top picks but i'd love to catch a top water giant oh gosh big old snakes boy he's a big one. look at him going into the water wow big snake there was two of them i think the other one just slithered under the concrete right here Woo. another one man they're everywhere. Oh, there's another one. Dude, this place is loaded with snakes. There he is right there. It is so choppy over here. I don't even think I can cast the buzz bait up against this right now. I'm going to switch to the old citizen for a minute. Top water and swim baits though. We're trying to go for a big today. What you doing, bud? You ain't gonna make it down there. What are you doing? Here, let me get him. I was gonna say, he wasn't gonna make it. There you go. What are you? Just a little corn snake. I'm trying to figure this thing out. Yeah, y'all are loaded in this place, man. We got you, buddy. Have fun. No, 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 no. You want to stay up here. There we go. Oh, for real. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. Breaking one pounder. Well, first one on the citizen. I was not expecting it to be a little dude, but hey, we'll roll with it. I'm gonna have to fix him up with the glue for sure. This bait's probably messed up. I was not expecting you to be this size when I hooked you. See you, bud. I'm gonna fix that nose up and hit the top real quick with the glue. Fixed up, boys. SB weld, top to bottom. Let's uh, get her back in there. Dude, the cheap one caught my PB as, uh, as just a seven pounder. I haven't caught anything crazy big, but it was the uh, Molex glide bait. Like, I mean, 20 bucks in store maybe. Yeah, it was like 18 was bucks maybe. The trout pattern too. And I like, I've never, I never fish trout baits, but you know, bass like them. And they stock some of the ponds around here with trout. I just got me one little one. I got some big ones earlier, but not here. How's your game today? Man, it was windy a little bit ago. Were you playing when it was like, is going crazy? No, I'm actually a caddy. So I was out, I was out in the course. Got so, it. Uh, Yes, sir. Not a joke. Y'all have a good night. Thank you. Oh, oh we just got... Oh. Well, uh, that was kind of funny. Buzzbait, first cast over here. That's a solid one. I was just starting to throw this thing again. It's, uh, it's right here at sunset. Bada bing, bada boom. Just met up with a caddy. He didn't even tell me to split, despite the fact that there's a sign over there that says, please fish. So, I mean, I guess we are golden. It's looking like a potential post spawner. She's a little skinny, ladies and gents. Probably feeding them after having her babies. A key element 
to those post-spawn fish. Oftentimes right after the spawn, they've just depleted so much energy from having their young and they're just trying to bulk back up again. And so you can easily kill the fish unintentionally by keeping them out of the water too long, just stressing them out from the catch. So always be sure with those post-spawners, you gotta get them back in the water quick. So I'm kind of holding this phone awkwardly, trying to block the wind a little bit. Anyways, we're gonna walk this thing with the buzz bait. We might be able to catch some more, dude. That's a great sign. Hopefully we can get a couple more along this bank. Let's see what happens, man. Oh gosh, okay. More top water at sunset, let's go. This thing like choked the buzz bait, that doesn't happen. What did you do? My line is, I've never had this happen on a buzz bait. Wait till you see this. Let's get you back in the water. We're looking for another one like that last or bigger. Well, she's lived a life. I don't have any soft plastics on me, so we're going skirtless. This is still gonna do it. Got a little dark for an outro last night, so here you are. I hope you all enjoyed this one. We've got a lot of exciting content headed your way, so be sure to subscribe. We even bought some camping goodies. We're gonna do some camping and fishing fun, and uh, that's all we got for you on this one. We'll catch you on the next ones. Y'all, we'll see you soon. Come on, yes, 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 the biggest bass I've ever caught here.